1988 or 1989. It's hard to say what release date it is exactly, but it's hard to say really because on some websites, you know, websites will say Heather's was released 1989. Other websites will, will say that Heather's was released 1988. And, but it even says so right here on the, on the DVD cover itself. Look, it says so right there. 1988 even says so here on the DVD cover. What do I think about Heathers? Well, yes, I agree with what Entertainment Weekly said on the cover. Best high school black comedy ever made. Yes, it is. It's so complex because the thing is, it's tough to say. I mean, it's funny because of how, well, bizarre, of course, it gets. But what makes it funny, I think, is just how, you know, over the top and how Christian Slater's character Jason becomes you know fixated on getting pit on getting his revenge and he does get into pretty it does get pretty taboo uh, Heather's shortly uh, before the end it, get, it does get pretty taboo but the ending of course is like a what the heck is going on so yep that's Heather's for you what do I think about this well it is funny because of how well it's it's tough to say how it's funny. I mean, I watched it and it made me laugh, but I was like, uh, when I laughed, I was just like, wow, that scene made me laugh, but I don't know why. I guess it was just because the fact that these are the characters, I mean, there there are deaths, there are murders, but the killers are the people that you would least expect to see as a killer, you know? And I think it was, it was kind of like the dark comedy that you'd see in the movie Fargo. I like to say, I think it's funny because of how odd and you know just unexpected and that's that now what to say about the portrayals between uh christian slater and winona ryder absolutely magnificent i absolutely thought that they had some of the cutest chemistry ever and they were an adorable couple they were an adorable couple that's for sure christian slater you know hands down you know steals the show but he's a pretty nasty boyfriend towards the end that is now it says here, oh boy. The thing about black comedies is it's tough to notice the humor. In my case, especially with autism, it's tough to notice sarcasm. In lots of autism people can't understand sarcasm. But I but I understand some of it. I mean, I can understand a little bit of the comedy. At first, you know, there are, you know, kind of like Fargo how the police officers were calm at the crime scene, just how it kind of fits in with dark comedies like Bad Santa, although I find Bad Santa funnier. Now, how to rate this? 10 out of 10 film cameras. I loved it. I really thought it was fun. I wouldn't mind seeing it again. Maybe if I see it again, I might do a different review this time. This time I might catch up more of the comedy, so maybe stay tuned for that review. So, see you then, and Mr. Blue's here for you.